Hello and welcome to my Tim Holtzathon. Um, seeing as it's spooky season, I thought that I would um, do some Tim Holtz stuff. Haven't done one in absolutely ages. Um, so I've pulled out um, my stash. I've got lots of offcuts and scraps and such here as well. I've got the baseball papers. I've got little file folders. I've got loads of the Halloween stuff, which is quite cool. I've forgotten I had all this. So that's quite cool. I've got some little bits and pieces and some little charms in there. Um, yeah, well stocked up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tab book because um, they're fun to make, easy to make and a little bit different from a journal. So um, I'm going to do maybe five-ish pages in each one, just a little mini sort of flip through one with some pockets and tucks and stuff. Um, and I'll make a few of them and pop them in the shop. So... Um, I've got, I've put the prettier papers already to one side. I'd already made a start. Um, those are the florals um, that I've already moved because we're not going to use those. These wallpaper ones are sort of the darker styles. Um, so they're a bit more Halloween-y. And then I've got the big papers here. Um, I've also got lots of offcuts to use, which I'm just going to empty out of this folder that's torn anyway. Um... There we are. So I've got a lot of decent sort of shapes that could be um, part of a little tab book. See, I've made a mess already. Um, but let's start, shall we? So I want something spooky for the front, um, most definitely. So I'm going to pull out the spooky stuff. And once I know what sort of... What was that? Oh, that was all the little um, bookboard stuff. Um once I know what I want on the front, I'll know sort of what size I want. So I think I'm going to go for one of these little um, peoples, little peoples. And I already quite like the wedding-y peoples, I think, for this one. Yeah, let's have the wedding couple on the front. So at least I know I want something... A decent width. Um, shove those to one side. Uh, the purple's quite nice actually for the front, but they are only single sided, so they're going to be more useful for pockets, I think. So let's. I don't know why, but I felt like that was upside down. Oh, hmm. Or maybe not. See, that's that'd be a shame to cut down really, unless you were going to cut and keep the spell book part. Um, maybe something grungy. Maybe the flowers could be quite spooky. So I tell you what, let's let's crack on. I'm going to pick five. That these are more wallpapers, aren't they? I'm going to pick five sh sheets that I like. Um, I definitely want a ledger in there. Although maybe not. And maybe that with the darker on the back. So let's we'll we'll stick with no, I don't want the butterflies. So we'll have that one. I like the dark on that. It's two. I want the pink. That one I quite like. Yeah, three. Ooh, yeah. Four. And just don't want shrooms. Don't really want more text. Yeah, we'll have that five. So that means I can shove these bits away. I want to stagger them as well. I want them to be all different sizes. So Let's start with the front. Now I might have, I've got these windows here that I could, sorry, sorry, that could be quite cool. What do you think to have that? And I'd probably get rid of his feet, but keep her dress. It's a bit too, a bit too snug. 
Hmm. Not sure. I just liked the, the spooky flowers on that. I thought that was going to look quite good, but perhaps not. What else have we got? So much stuff. I've got lots of... Might as well do that, haven't we? Lots of these little letters. That's the same one, isn't it? I must have had two lots. Yeah. Have I got any more frames or anything because I've, I've got a whole drawer here like you wouldn't believe the amount of Tim Holtz stuff I have is absolutely insane let me see if I can find any more frames and I'll come back no I don't <laughs> but you know what I really like that so I'm, I'm having it um I'm not sure on what background yet not that one not that one. I might go for this really dark one. Yeah, I think I will. So I think I want it quite centred. So if I sort of, have I got a pencil? Have I got a pencil that's sharpened? So I think I want something like that. So I'm going to sort of cut there and there and that's going to be my front so i'm going to put those up there so i don't lose them in the chaos that is this room it's such a mess absolute state for some contrast color just to sort of lift it a little bit i want to do a lot of layering with this i think the amount of stuff that you get from tim holtz is is all about the layers um so I want to kind of, I'm sort of pre-designing the front and then I know what I'm doing and then we'll we'll cut down the rest of the pages. I should probably have just not bothered with this bit yet, but I'm on a roll now. So I've got lots of these little strips that I've cut off that I want to use and sort of layer up. I might do that one as an across one. I think I'm caught on some of these. Leg! Lift! Maybe a bit of an across. Maybe. Right, tell you what. I like those bits. Let's put those bits to there. Let's just crack on with the cutting down because I'm getting sidetracked now. Because I'm rabbiting on. So that's the front. Now what I want to do is see lots of things peeking out. So obviously this line's always going to be the same. So shall we... Shall I do a taller, thinner one of these? I want, or do I do that colour behind? That's more, yeah, that's better. So let's do a taller, thinner one. Let's have it about there and there. It's going to be quite big, this actually. It's probably one of the biggest ones I've made. They usually, I usually start with quite a small front page, but I kind of, I've kind of, that ship sailed, hasn't it, really? For goodness sake. Let's use this trimmer. Seeing as, seeing as it's a Tim holtz -a -thon, let's use the Tim Holtz trimmer, shall we? Okay. So that's going to be the page behind. We'll have that peeking out. And then I need something coming out this way. So she would have a that away one. So, because we've got a paler colour then, should we have one like that? Shall we? I feel like the back page is going to need to be the biggest. So maybe we'll start with the back. Really like that. I'm gonna keep that one. Should we go with this one? Let's have that as the back. I don't want to have to cut the front down. So it's just gonna to have to be quite big, isn't it? They're only meant to be, did he? Shall we have 
just a smidge bigger than the height of the second page but we'll come out to about there just winging this completely by the way there's no don't don't follow this as a tutorial or anything for goodness sake because i'm literally just winging it by eye just whatever i fancy doing and i've lost my pencil mark there is we about there ish oh spot on nearly so that's going to be the back have it like that and i'm gonna have i'm gonna cut this down sort of i'm just gonna take a chunk off it and that's gonna be another page i'm gonna go there and then this one, so you're going to go, I think, down here-ish. And then I want something there, don't I? I'm going to cut this one quite square, I think. And let's have... There! There! And that will be the structure. Maybe that is a little bit too big. Maybe we'll have it that way. And when on the front, we'll have this. And these. And that's going to kind of be the journal. You see, now I'm looking at it, though. I don't like how much they stick out. I might actually trim them off and I don't, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. We don't want pockets and things with the tabs coming over and like closing the pockets and impeding them. So we kind of need to decide what we're going to have on each one. So the front, we've, we've, we know we're going to have that on the front. So then we're going to open it up and this is what we're faced with. So because I've got a light coloured page, I hope you can see all this, you know. Because we've got a light colour page, I want something dark on there. So this is where things like the wallpapers come in handy. And I think I will cut some of this off. I'm going to have a big pocket here. So let's do that. I'm going to have this as the pocket, but I want to tear it. So I need to trim... Where'd the pencil go? It's there. If we can see that. Hang on. I've got a pencil on my mouth now. So even I will throw little bits away. So that's going to be that. Uh, that way round. But I want to tear it. I want a torn edge. So I'm going to kind of tear around that flower and then I'm going to come down like that. And that will be the pocket. So that is going to go there. And what I like to do is just pin them on just so I know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to get a bunch of paper clips and just shove that there. So that's then that page. But that's going to go that way. So on this one, I want something. I want to keep some of that. So I'm going to have something here. I want to keep some of this. You can see, can't you? Shall I move in a little bit? I can't even push my chair back. Do you know that? My room is so messy. There we are. So I want something here because I want to keep some of this writing. But because that's quite a dark page... I want to lighten it up a little bit. So I'm still going to use some of this wallpaper, I think. Something maybe a bit lighter. That's not really very spooky, is it, that one? Or shall I use some of the grey, green, even? I know you should see the green there. I don't want that. Let's have a look at some of these offcuts. What have I got? Maybe. I don't want I don't want the reds. I'm not a red person. 
Um, got some more marbler here, although it does have a lot of red in it. Some music, show some sheet music. So if I, let me think, let's do that. That was easy. So if I have a little pocket here, then I just want to mark with the pencil that I keep losing here and here, and we'll sort of cut that. Way we've got another page. See, it all comes together in the end. So you straight under there and kind of kind of there. Is that even on camera that bottom bit? No. But I've cut it anyway. So, don't like the white, and I don't know where my dyes are, my um, inks, to ink stuff up. I will find them before I put stuff together, but that's sort of there, so that's that can be pinned on. But now we've got to think of this side, so once this opens up, that's what we're looking at, that way. Now I might get, I want something interactive, I think. So let's think of what we've got. Maybe these little file folders. Should I have a little, or maybe I'll save that for one of the bigger pages, but let's have a flip or something. Oh, vellum, let's use some vellum. It's a really good size though as well. See, I started with flip and now I've gone to vellum me pocket because I like the thought of that. So let's just trim this vellum down. And if I glue here and here, I could tear that actually. There's something about tearing. Tearing and Tim Holt stuff just yeah works there so we'll have that as a little pocket there should find that paper clip i mean i could still have something next to it couldn't i i could have a little flippy pocket that actually would fit quite nicely there <clears throat> so let's just fold it i was going to be really organized and use my ruler to try and do it neatly but sod that let's just do that and we can have that there and that will fold and then we can have a little pocket here now i, I am allowing myself to use my um my these although that's a little bit big what they call glassine little envelopey things. Do you fit? Are you like the perfect size? You are the perfect size, damn it. Let's have that. There. Let's fold it up. Kind of neatly. But not quite. And back down again. So we can have a pocket there and a little pocket there. I'm going to sew this. I'm going to run a stitch down either side or I might hand sew it yet. So we'll have that there. Here, we could have sort of an extension of whatever's going in that pocket. It doesn't really need anything there. But we will have something on the front of it. That's going to go there. We'll have something there. I don't know what yet, but that's okay. Because we can think of that later. So, vellum pocket. Thing on the other side. 
shove all this on. Keep picking the one up that's attached there. Right, so that's that side. Now this one, so I want something darker. I might have, I might attach these on here as well. I don't really know why, I just like them. Um, they probably won't serve any function whatsoever. I just like them. Now, this is where we can get a bit complicated now because you need to think of the height and closing things, you see. So when we close the book, if that was the only bulky thing I had and then you've got a bulky door here, this isn't going to sit flat, is it? It's going to be angled up, which n wouldn't normally bother me. But this might because it's not going to sit right with the tabs. We need we're going to we can leave gaps with the tabs to be able to allow for, for more bulk on a page. But then the bulk has to be straight because otherwise none of the other pages are going to be at uh, level. Um, so that might come back later. But we'll, we'll have something else on here for now. Now, because we've got bulk on this side, I'm going to do something up here. I've used that already. Let's have let's have some more of this wallpaper, shall we? Wherever it's gone. What about some of this? That's quite spooky. Spooky paper. So should we just do a big corner? Should I just be really rough about it and just do that? And we can have like an upper tuck there. Obviously that goes over there. So then anything bulky on here is not going to be impeded by this. You see, we've added bulk. So now we, that's, we've got to be really mindful of what we do now. Now that I've spoiled it. So let's shove that on there. Flip it. And then we're back on darker pages. So I want something lighter. Such as, what have we got here? Let's use some scraps. Some of these little cards. We have like a little waterfall pocket. Maybe. Like a little stack of pockets. So let's do that. Let's have some waterfall pockets. We'll have this side. But we're going to trim there. Let's do it now. And then I want a contrasting colour behind. So let's choose something a bit darker. Have I got any dark scraps? Are they all these little diddy ones? Eh, dear me. Might actually have that on the bottom as well. Let's have loads of pockets. Let's go mad. that across because we'll have that behind trim that down and then what do you reckon one more should we squeeze one more in yeah let's squeeze one more in a little teeny tiny one There. 
Okay, so I'm just going to group these together because that's what we're going to have on here. I'm going to attach those. Determined to keep picking these ones up. What time are we up to? 23 minutes. Right, that side. Oh, so we've done that. That's that side. And then we're on to the green side. Too messy. So the green side. Now, that's where we said we're going to have a little file folder. So let's have a look at these that we've got. Had this so long. Now, again, we've got to bear in mind we're going to add bulk by adding these. But I think they're a really cool interactive element to have. So we'll have one of the smaller ones. I don't want the blue. So it's going to be this one. We'll have it that way, I think. So this is one where we're going to add the tab binding first before we attach the pocket, because otherwise it's going to cause issues with us opening this pocket up. So we'll have that and we can put other elements on there. Then we've got this side where we want something. Well, we may have the door. I might just have the door on that side because I quite like the look of that. I don't think I'm going to be able to clip that, but I'm just going to sit it there. And then on the back, I feel like big pockets are, are required here. So let's go. Let's have some big ones. If we got, I wonder if I could use some of these. Beautiful. I don't want. I don't think they seem beautiful. It's meant to be spooky. That's not spooky. They're not spooky. Um, so they're just some little decorative elements. What else have I got? I've got lots of these pictures. I wonder if any of these would pass off as spooky. Spooky bikes, spooky airplane. Spooky house, we could have a spooky house. Spooky girls. Spooky people. Not really very spooky, is it? What's the dark one? Ooh, you. Let's have you. And we'll have that as the pocket. Ah, oh, and it fits beautifully. So we'll have that as a pocket and obviously we'll have other elements. So again, because we're going to have a bulky door on this side, we don't, we might need to put something here to sort of level the page up, if you see what I'm saying. So let's shove that there. And then on the back, we can decide later, I think, if we want anything on there. I'm not sure. But that's kind of, kind of what we're looking at. Let's pop, pop you back there. You went there you go there and we use the little scrappy scrappy no upside down and you're going there so that's kind of what we're going to put together yay so we just need to then think about um structurally how it's going to work with the tabs if we need if we can attach the tabs after before I think we probably we might be better doing them all before, but but the pocket page because no, in fact, no, that one is all. We'll probably have them, probably do them all before, but we'll we'll go through it. We'll have a look, and then we'll look at the balancing element of each page because you see, as we get more bulky things in, I want it to sit nice and flat. That's the beauty of the tab binding is you can make the tabs as as deep or as shallow as need be to allow for bulk on a page so you don't have the gator mouth that you get with some journals so yeah so that's where we're at with this one we've got loads of loads of elements to decorate with so that'll be cool um and we will put it together in the next video thank you for watching